Hi there, welcome back to Daily Sales Tips with Chen. We are discussing the guide sales technique which you can use to move a prospect all the way to close. Quick refresher guide stands for greet, understand, inform, discuss, and enrich. Today we're focusing on the discuss phase. We're actually in part three of four. So let's jump right into it. We've already talked about buying signs. So what do people exhibit when they are interested in purchasing? Trial closing, how do you test the waters? How do you gauge if they're ready to buy? And then today we're actually discussing the close. How do you go in and actually ask for the money? So the key thing to think about is, I find that usually a lot of people, when, they, when it comes to closing, when it comes to sales, it's usually a psychological barrier that the sales reps themselves face. Uh, you have to realize that if you don't ask for the sale, the answer is always going to be silence. Because if you don't ask for it, they will not naturally come out and say that they want it. There's a lot of stigma associated with sales. Focus on thinking about it as more like customer service rather than sales. You're trying to help the customer. You want, again, a reminder, focus on their needs, their goals, rather than your goals of closing a sale. Their needs are, they have a problem that they need solved and you want to be able to help them, right? It's kind of like if you're coming to a party and you greet the birthday person and you walk around the house and you have this present with you and you can speak with everyone and then you walk out carrying the present away with you. Doesn't make sense. The customer, you have the solution that the customer wants. It's something that will fix their problem and you're offering to help them with it, but you're walking away with it. So make sure that you at least take the time to just position yourself for the close if you've really come this far. Some best practices around closing. Just make the ask, number one. Be confident when you make the ask. Confidence is a big, big key. If you're not confident, it, it makes a big difference because people will feel like there's something wrong with it. Uh, so I'll give you some examples. So instead of saying, would you like to get this? You might say something like, let's get you set up. That sounds a bit more confident, right? Uh, that also helps because you're dec decreasing the options of a negative response because it, it becomes a stronger lead to a real close. Make sense? You're saying, let's get you set up. That is not a question. You're not asking, would you like to get this? Which they might say no to. Uh, at this point, you know, you want to, once you have positioned yourself for the close, I would say just shut up, right? Silence is golden. A lot of sales reps get so uncomfortable with silence, but really sometimes your customer just really needs some time to think. And that's absolutely fine. Give them the space. If you break the silence, it comes across as being a bit too desperate and you might end up talking your way out of the sale. And then once a customer has committed, once they have said yes, Stop selling. I've seen a lot of reps also talk themselves out of the sale because they, although the customer has already committed, they still try to oversell certain things. So when I say stop selling here, I'm saying stop selling the same thing. Of course, you can cross sell, upsell if you need to. Um, and lastly, sometimes in certain cases, the, the customer themselves will actually sell themselves on their service, right? So you can ask them a question like, what, why do you see yourself getting this product or service? Right? How would it affect your business or your life? And sometimes they will end up selling themselves into it. At the end of the day, just focus on customer service. If you focus on a good experience, you will be a good salesperson. It's not about the goal of closing. It's about putting your customer first instead of prioritizing getting the sale. It should make it a lot more comfortable for you to close. Some closing techniques, there are so many, you can just do a simple Google search for closing techniques. I'm gonna to touch on some of the more, more common ones and some of my favorite ones. So direct. You know, you might say something like, so why don't you just come over here and I'll ring you up? Presumptive, which is personally my favorite. You might say, hey, I'm happy you'd, you've decided to partner up. Which payment plan do you prefer? So you're already assuming that they are in it. Time sensitive, you see this a lot. This promotion is ending in three days. Since you're here today, you might want to get it set up before it's too late. Alternate choice, do you prefer this in black or white, right? So those are just some common techniques. Um, another Example, you might say something like, hey, would you prefer to pay with credit or debit? That's another assumptive and also alternate choice combined together. So there is no best or right or wrong closing technique. Just use what it is comfortable for you. Try out a few different ones so you have a few in your back pocket so that when you come to the close, you can try a few different ones, whichever is most appropriate for the situation. So this is actually where it's gonna be helpful. At your own time, start to think up some good closing statements. And a good starting point is actually to just reflect. In your life, you know, I'm sure you've been sold to yourself. Uh, think about some of the most memorable or good closing statements you've heard in the, in the last few days or maybe even in the last few months. What are some good ones? Write them down and think about which specific closing technique that is. And if you like it, 
there's a likelihood that someone else will also like this as well, that you'll be comfortable using this technique yourself. So that's a good start. So that's basically it for today's session. Tune in tomorrow where we'll talk about how to overcome objections. That's going to be a fun one. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, I have a YouTube channel with a daily sales tips playlist. Feel free to search my name, Shin Heng Chang. And until then, see you.